uh, all of the cases uh, in hyperparathyroidism has three types, primary, secondary, and tertiary. Adenoma and glandular hyperparathyroidia are primary type. The secondary ones are in chronic renal failure or uh, CRA. The tertiary uh, hyperthyroidism occurs in dialysis person. Uh, about incidence of primary type uh, is about one in 500 in men, and the incidence is uh, in women, at, sorry, and one in uh, uh, 2,000 in men. The most risk factors uh, of hyperthyroidism are the head and uh, neck radiation in childhood and long-term lithium trauma. These are, are the most risk factors and predisposing factors. The most common clinical manifestation in primary adenoma is asymptomatic hypercalcemia, which means uh, the calcemia in serum levels are high, but the uh, symptoms, but we don't uh, see any symptoms in person. The uh, skeletal manifestation can, can be primary presentation in developing countries. For example, osteotitis or OFC and salt and pepper appearance in a skull. Or the another one in uh, bone are bone erosions and bone tumors. Adenoma can secrete large amount of parathyroid hormone, which increases calcium levels. Hypercalcemia has a lot of symptoms and signs. For example, nephrolysis, pathologic fractures, and uh, GI manifestation, uh, such as pancreatitis and neuropathic dysfunction. Uh, about calcification, I want to. Uh, divided calcification into malignant and benign lesion, which can see in the soft tissue. Depending on the location of calcification, it can be malignant or benign. Calcification in the viscera uh, can, uh, is, uh, uh, most of times are metastatic form. Metastatic form are the hypercalcemia that occurs with calcium deposit in normal tissue. This tropic form in the injured tissue yeah, and, and uh, accompanied by normal cell calcium. For example, we can see in a healed case uh, patient. Uh, another important uh, issue is about breast tissue. Breast tissue is one of the important organs that calcification occurs in. Microcalcification in the breast was described as calcium deposits. It has three types of composition that include hydroxyapatite, calcium oxalate, and calcium carbonate. The most common form of calcification in the breast is microscopic and microcalcification, which can be detected by mammogram. The breast calcification due to hyperthyroidism and association with uh, hypercalcemia is less common in breast. Most of the time, it is found as incidental finding in the breast tissue and uh, in the mammography. Therefore, novelty and actuality of this case were very rare primary clinical presentation in the form of bilateral breast masses in this patient. We report a case of parathyroid adenoma with breast masses due to bilateral and asymmetric calcification. Okay, uh, I want to uh, show the details of our uh, case. Our patient was a 38-year-old healthy woman presented with two months history of right and left breast masses. She has no specific past medical history and no drug history and the family endocrine disease was negative. The patient physical examination revealed a 1.5 centimeters mass in the uh, upper outer quadrant of right breast and two centimeters mass in the upper inner of left breast. Uh, the laboratory finding was hemoglobin 11.5, a mild anemia with increased level of calcium, 11.3. The parathyroid hormone was uh, normal and the phosphor was three. 2.2 milligrams uh, on this uh, The creatinine, serum creatinine, and serum BOA was normal, and the uh, alkaline phospholipase was normal too. In ultrasound findings, she has parenchymal calcification with posterior shadowing in both breasts. The mammography finding was a metastatic calcification with 1.5 in 1.6 in 1.7 centimeters in upper outer quadrant of right breast and 2.2 in 2.3 in 2.5 centimeters in upper inner quadrant of left breast. The pattern of uh, coarse cal cal calcium deposit in breast was uh, C. In this table, you can see the laboratory finding before surgery, after immediately after surgery, and three months after surgery. 
the laboratory findings was PTH, calcium, phosphorus, alkaline phosphatase, carotenoid, and DO. In thyroid ultrasound review, her uh, thyroid ultrasound review, a fourth, a fourth centimeter nodule in the inferior part of left uh, thyroid, and the thyroid centigrade report a high uh, activity zone in the inferior part of left thyroid gland, which uh, we diagnosed as parotid adenoma in this patient, and the patient underwent left lower product, parathyroid zone. The microscopic examination of radiative specimen showed an ovaloid finely lobulated brown mass covered by thin caps. The cut section revealed grayish brown soft tissue with hemorrhagic fatigue and uh, micros uh, microcytic formation. The histopathological finding revealed hypercellular, well vascularized, encapsulated tumor, follicular nest, and so the papillary growth pattern. In this uh, picture, you can see the microscopy uh, parathyroid uh, specimen. And these three pictures reveal the histopathologic findings in our case. We can see the hypercellular, well vascularized, encapsulated tumor in uh, follicular nest and pseudopapillary growth pattern. Uh, in this uh, picture, you can see well vascularized and uh, uh, pseudopapillary growth too. Uh, the other picture is uh, tumor cells composite of cheap cells, osmotic cells, and traditional water clear cells, uh, which was in the tumor adenoma. After surgery, she passed on in the uh, in eventful post-operative period with no complaint. The laboratory finding calcium plus for antitate was very normal. After two months of follow-up, no evidence of recurrence of or further problem was noted. Uh, the histopathological findings of our case was cast, uh, consisted uh, parathyroid adenoma uh, that have referred to increased level of calcium and breast masses, the bilateral breast mass. Hypercalcemia has innumerable cases such as hyperthyroidism, cancer, milk alkali syndrome, excitement injection, diuretic therapy, for example, uh, sarcoidosis, and immunization. The parathyroid gland has a social with the monitoring extracellular calcium level, and the PTH is the one the regular of calcium hemostasis that responds to extracellular calcium changes. In work of hypercalcemia, the PTH level has a critical role that can be divided hypercalcemia into, into parathyroid mediated condition and non parathyroid mediated condition. The different diagnosis in parathyroid mediated and uh, or parathyroid adenoma, or parathyroid hyperparasia, or in the rare cases, parathyroid carcinoma. The other uh, causes of hypercalcemia are tertiary hyperthyroidism, familial hypercalcemia, hypercalcemia calcemia, or FHH, and lithium therapy. The other case report, uh, which reported on mean lead et al. A 65-year-old patient presented with parathyroid mass in her breast. She had a medical history of end-stage renal disease and has a dystrophic calcification in monogram. Her pathological diagnosis is calcification in stroma from secondary hyperthyroid. So the diagnosis in this case was hyper, a secondary hyperthyroid. But the, in our story, the patient has no past medical history of renal disease and her pathology uh, was clear uh, about uh, renal disease. But our patient has a metastatic calcification due to parathyroid adenoma. In mammography of breast calcification, or, uh, calcification of common finding, and the most number of increases with patient age, ages, uh, which we can see in the mammography and uh, we can and rule out the uh, ages, past injury, or infection of breast tissue. There are, are, there are two main types of calcification, macro and micro calcification. Macro calcification are usually not related to cancer and do not usually need to follow. 
but microcalcification may be dominant and score uh, can be sign of the breast cancer. So the follow-up tests uh, are necessary. Most of microcalcifications are benign, but some of them can be caused by malignant disease. The pathology appearance of calcification correlated with the mammographic findings. In fibrocystic change, a cyst formation and apocrine metaplasia are the pathological signs. The features of fat necrosis are well uh, described dynamically by adipocytes. Uh, is followed by inflammatory response uh, by macrophage. Dystrophic calcification features are variable but tend to be coarse or can be actual in the appearance, similar to fat necrosis. The diagnosis pattern is a class and less coarse in appearance. Postmetabolic atrophy of breast as the evidence of local atrophy with prodromal calcification in the histopathological view. Breast masses should be follow up, uh, should be assigned a primary hyperthyroidism to the parathyroid adenoma. This case had par a parathyroid adenoma with bilateral and asymmetric microcalcification in her breast to the rise of calcium in her cell. For accurate diagnosis and better patient management, primary care physicians and surgeons are much more likely to be familiar with this diagnosis, especially those with breast disease. For rolling out another breast mass lesion, taking good history, exact clinical examination, and use of effective parathyroid investigation can help us to diagnose these cases. Thank you for your attention.